Uh, since we started from scratch, we didn't know what we were doing back then. We didn't have any training. If I remember correctly, you being coming back from Pepperdine University um, was a big deal because he was the first person we knew who was trained in technical theater. My goodness, the rest of us were like, uh, we, we looked at books, you know, we, we learned um, as we went along. Hey, as a stage designer, one of the, one of the most difficult things uh, doing stage design in Singapore has been crossing from the design into the reality on stage. And if I went back to 1985 when I was helping start Theatre Works and we were starting to do quite adventurous sort of productions or for the opera, uh, they required quite sophisticated stage implementation. And I think that it would have been nice if I'd gotten together with a few people in one of the fine art institutions in Singapore, um, one of the universities or La Salle or somewhere like that, where there could have been a little uh, um, sub-department created where things like stage painting could be taught or understood and um, maybe out of that would have come a sort of uh, stage workshop or something like that. So that, so we could have maybe had some graduates here. I think that the people were doing it now, but in the 90s I really needed it. I mean, and even now I really need it. I mean, uh, people with that expertise, um, which is hard to come by. Yeah, so 那些布景应该是一景作用因为我们都很熟了 I think when the import started like in the late 90s it wasn't really very easy to be honest because um, I think besides like the Straits Times um, there wasn't really much arts writing going on and um, I think the imports always want to be part of a community of writers so, and then of course we were online and you know in the late 90s it was like what is this strange creature called the online arts journal? I think I was in a, a very, I think we were in a very very privileged point of time in, because in those days there were no, although there were not as many resources and we had a small little theatre called Drama Centre, I think the spirit of uh, what we did in the arts was a very different one because we did it because we were passionate about it. Uh, most of us had <clears throat> full-time jobs. Uh, but at the same time, we, you know, after we finished our work, we'd go in long rehearsals for longer periods of time than we have now. And at the end of the day, it would be a production. Um, we would not get paid, um, but it was something that was exciting. <laughs>